Hello everybody, welcome to Season 48, first round match between Talk 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 and his Chaos Dwarves and Vela Hoppier and his Humans. In the booth with me is Moridam the Literal Goblin. Hello! Hello! <laughs> so this is a pretty close TV match, there's only a babe for Veli. But I would rather be the Chos and the Humans, I think. <laughs> Yeah, especially after those two instant removals. <laughs> yeah. Maybe three? Maybe. Although the, the lizards got instant removals on the elves and it, it did not help. Yeah, it didn't, did it? Oh god. <laughs> Holy shit, though. They didn't have three on turn one, though. No. And the claw, the claw mighty to come as well. Yeah, of course the claw mighty does nothing after the <laughs> after the two mighties and the nothing. Regular blow, regular blow, as Rick loves to say. Oh, he doesn't have all blue heads. That is sad. That is. He's got some good goblins. They're hot goblins. Though. Yeah, strength four, edge four, vampire hobo, and then a move up blodge, sure hands, a crap bull or a rookie bull. Yeah, the rookie ball's sad. And a blood BT ball. And the humans are a fine team, actually, aren't they? Got some guard, got a pommer, but... Pretty bare bones. More bare bones after taking three removals instantly. <laughs> yeah. He can't fat pile. Oh my god, he can pile. Oh, he can and has. Wow. Well, the dirty player's right here. So... Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure about that. I mean I am pretty sure about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a bad pylon. Yeah, it, I mean the pylon was so bad that I wouldn't have even follow, followed to have a pylon be possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. I think that's the best way because then you're not tempted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not tempted and you don't have to worry about dodging off if you do get the removal. Yeah. And three assist dirty player. You love to see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, not even punished though. So maybe this was a trap by Veli. I mean, Veli's pretty good at the old bloody balls. So maybe he was thinking, you know, that that move over to foul him will give him something the other side to try and do something. Maybe. But, That's a good, good stun. Only because I fixed skull as well. Ball run the ball. Oh, he fails and he uses the loner reroll. He uses the team reroll to try and get him in. But it wouldn't have even been that good though, would it? Like, you know, obviously he wanted it, but like... He's got a strength for Hobo right there to hit him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you definitely want it, but I don't think he wants so much to be recall. Got this guard guy up to dry now, though. Yeah. It's fine, though. Yeah, I like, I like, I like just whacking in the air. The bull is just like the idiot assister because you're quite okay with your defenseless guy. Like, I don't know he's defenseless, but the fact he's like a rookie and a bit rubbish, you're okay with him getting here. Seeing as he didn't need to blitz him, I wouldn't have minded blitzing the uh, blitzing the thrower here for an extra for an extra assist on the foul. Yeah, I actually thought about that as well. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Yeah. And there you go, the entirely predictable result of that pylon has, has happened. <laughs> but he got he got a removal, so and the apples yeah, work, that, so you, not that bad. Make that trade. You get rid of the apple for it. Yeah. Not bad. Oh man. Stupid ogre. Two fails in three turns. Yuck. Yeah. It's the downside of them, they're fucking dumb. Yeah. Hello, right of the Mason. Will, will there be a D&D &D night? Um, it's a good question. I'm thinking probably not this week. 
There was one on Saturday, but I don't think there'll be one this Saturday. I don't know though, don't quote me. There's not one planned. Yeah, I, I think probably not. So do I. <sighs> so do I. But I think probably not. This is something like a cut and dry bang them out game. Yes, I mean it should be pretty should be pretty straightforward for the for the chaffs now. I mean it should have been after the initial OS, but especially after taking back the Palmer as the only uh the only, you know, real source of high roll from the humans. Keeps letting him get the ogre in though, doesn't he? Like, do you know what I mean? Like... Yeah. It's the bait though, because, you know, the ogre <laughs> isn't doing anything. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Just the, the bashiest team. Makes an instant removal there from regular blow. Disgusting little chip. Oh, wow, this ogre. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I didn't even kill the ogre to put him out of his misery. Bonehead, bonehead, sub skulls. <laughs> Christ. Holy shit. Blood stepping throw is pretty cool, isn't it? Until he gets instantly powered. Can't foul him though because his hobbo's too good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't foul anyone with a vampire hobbo. Oh, oh man. Oh man. I don't think I liked taking that block before just literally moving your guys that are definitely moving. Yes. And not rolling dice to do so. <laughs> like, yeah, that was rather odd, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't hate that. Yeah, not terrible. Of course, should have stood up the ogre first, but never mind. Yep. It's funny, isn't it? Even even the best players uh, do, you know, minor, ostensibly minor, turn ordering mistakes like that. Should he? Should he? Was this the right side step square? I guess it. I guess it doesn't matter because you get there any next anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Talk, talk, talk's gonna score here. This is looking dodgy, isn't it? As, as amazing as all the removals have been, this is a how does he score? Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention enough early to tell if, like, did he just not take space when he could have? Like, he must have, right? Because he had a massive player. So he must yeah. have just been space he did not take when he could have taken it. Yeah, I mean, Freddy was busy having his could be stupid every turn. <laughs> yeah, right? Really, Freddy? Mm. I think that's probably wrong. Yeah, but you're gonna need him to get punched by Cora, aren't you? Like you're behind and you? look at that two D on the ball. Pick up the ball. Baby. Oh man. Oh the dad's fell. I mean now I'm really struggling to see how the chops are gonna score. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I get, oh no, I see. You, you hit the hit the ogre over. What's the ball then? You free the the vamp gob. Ah, uh, but then you pick it up with the other guy and hand it off and run downfield, maybe. You just nope. punch with it then. Oh yeah, I guess hitting hitting the ball attack was good as well. Yeah, you could have double GFI to hit. That might have been but the now play. You've got, you've got one score. Because oh, nope. if you, you double to GFI to hit, then you can free the hob, the vamp hob. Um, yeah. But obviously, double GFI to hit is a bit shit if it goes wrong. You definitely do not go for the ball carrier right now. Yeah, you go for the hob. The push is good enough. Yeah. Oh. oh, glorious canoring threat. Love to see it. Oh. Don't love to see that though. Off he goes. Rough. So can this guy one, two, three, four, five, six. So could he run around the other side and then chain him out? Not without a dodge from the from the ball. It'd be a four plus the break tackle. I, I I think he's gonna do it. I think he's gonna do it though. Oh yeah, we know yeah, he can do it. I didn't see the other player back there. Yeah? Oh no. <laughs> it was a good effort, but yeah. yeah. I can't tell if Talk 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 played badly or if Veli just played well. Veli's good, but yeah. Veli is good, but I don't like Veli. Obviously, didn't play bad, yeah. but I feel like it's more that Talk 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 didn't take advantage of the massive number advantage he had early. Yeah, you've got a feel. You've got to feel that if you had the, those dice, you'd do better. <laughs> yeah. Like, after, at the end of the first round of hits, it was an 8v11. Yeah. Yeah. I could win an 8v11 with goblins. <laughs> Let alone with chorps. <laughs> so it's a bold statement. It's actually a bold statement, you know. Veli is very good. Veli is very good, but... Like with Veli's dice, it's like Veli didn't even have good dice. No, true. Like, they they other continued than that one for the rest box. of the half. Yeah, they continued pre yeah. being pretty shit for the rest of the half. And like he was putting in side steps in good parts, good places, and then he was just getting instantly powered every time. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. like at least yeah, he didn't cause... take more attrition, right? And now they're mostly back. Yeah, and he had the two bad traits, so he could afford to lose a few. And the apple worked on his best player. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I didn't hit the pile. I didn't. I hated the pylon. I hated the pylon blitz. Yeah. To be fair. So. There was an element that I wasn't happy about from a belly. <laughs> oh, it's a blitz. A blitz. And now he's got blitz done, which is, of course, a terrible decision. Rolling a 10 on the kickoff table. Yeah, you hate to see it. People, a lot of people make that mistake. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh no, it was a bait. It was a bait to draw to reroll. Yeah, especially versus Skaven. That's the worst. Never do it against Skaven. There's my tips to be better at blood ball. If you want to roll a ten on your defense, <laughs> on your offense, <laughs> don't roll it versus uh, Skaven. A blockless blitz. I have won games because Skaven got a blitz though. Wow. They they overcommitted and it was on the on the on the back right, so it went out of bounds. Gave me yeah. a touch back. I had to block it off the of field. Oh, don't relying on Dauntless for the two D. 
and then not not filing for the for the pile on. I hate it. Yeah, after pile, he, he's maybe he's scared after the last pile, and he's like, I don't want to do it again. No, yeah, obviously but he's now the gone. You could, have, uh, you could have fouled him. Well, I, I guess given that he had a blitz, maybe you don't. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. All your men are tied up. You've got uh, you've got to have some people back. I would would have I would have put him there as well. Though. Sidestep. I wouldn't have him so close. I'd have put him there to try. And... Well, I guess then the vampire's a in a pain in the ass, isn't he? Yeah, maybe you do have to have him here because this this vampire is terrifying. Yeah, yeah I think so. Problem with uh, going down the line like this is unless you get removals, <laughs> the dead bodies are blocking the path. <laughs> blocking the path anyway. <laughs> it's pretty good running all powers. Though. But yeah, that removal saved it. Otherwise, you would have, uh, you would have, you would have blocked his own path with bodies. <laughs> he still blocks it because he followed it. Okay, he's blitzing him to get the bull in the backfield, I guess. The yeah, blockless bull. Is he going to dodge pick up here? I know that seems like it's a mental move, but like it wouldn't be terrible, would it, to like dodge and pick up? Because he could have done it either way, right? He could have had like the bull. The bull could have been up there, and then he could have been down there. Yeah, yeah, I don't hate it. I it guess it would have been he's... the last thing I do for the turn. I would have done everything else first, but yeah. Because yeah. like it's no no, it's not it's not great for the chops. Oh wow, relying on the Dauntless for a one day. That's it though. Yudlaga, I'm, I'm thinking people might learn from mistakes. That's that's precious. <laughs> you only ever commit to a blitz on the sideline once. What a wow. You maybe, but uh, many, 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 many people <laughs> would continue making the same mistakes many, 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 many times. <laughs> Sometimes many times in the same game. Yeah. Yeah, you see it in challenge, people will make the same mistake in the same game, yeah. I hated this dodge, but I guess what else can you do? You can't, you can't hit the strength four, can you? The one player did a great job. You could one be the strength for with the uh, thrower. He'd already blitzed though, hadn't he? And he wanted to pick up with the thrower. So. I think, you, yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah. But I think it, it was another player. Right? It's a two plus to get the hobo off of the the catcher. Then you just pick up the catcher and run away. Mm. Move him eight. It's not great, but. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how good he is. Strength 4, range 4. Yeah, an amazing hard guy. Oh, finally. Thanks finally. for that score. Yeah, that puts the Ogre out of his misery. What a, what a shit game the Ogre's had. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much GG now, isn't it? The three cars. Yeah. Feels the dodge into death. Oh god. Oh god. Absolute Dyson. Belly's dice. <laughs> and there's an easy chain. Oh no, he's sidestep. We can run around this way if he wants. Fucking Chuck Norris. Oh man, that was that was the highlight of my rebel my rebel days was the uh, was playing the Kislev. And then killing everyone but Chuck Norris. <laughs> so yeah, I have made more than seven cars in Blood Bowl too, because I just literally killed his entire team. <laughs> there was only Chuck Norris left. Have you had a pitch clear in Blood Bowl two at all, Jim? Um. Oh yeah, I've, I've had pitch clears. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had. I have. What I haven't had in Blood Bowl two 
is when you get a touchdown from the opponent not being able to field anybody. I haven't got that. Uh, yeah. I've only had that once and it was tabletop. Mm. I've never had it in Blood Bowl 2. I've had it like, I've had that several times on Fumble, um, but never on Blood Bowl 2. I had a first half pitch clear on Fumble once. Um, Holy shit. With like with like a nothing team, it was like two or three mighty blow. It was crazy, just like and just a totally normal chaos marauder team, whatever they're, whatever they're called, you know now. Renegades, chaos renegades, and just a normal team. Uh, like with maybe even one, maybe only one mighty blow. It was crazy. Yeah. Have you had a no person pitch invasion? Yes. Yeah. Just literally oh, recently. Man. Oh man, those are fun. Yeah, like a week or two ago with the uh, the uh, the roller dwarves. <laughs> the literal only kickoff event that does absolutely nothing. Yeah. With zero person. Yeah, unbelievable. He just survived. Yeah, Chuck Norris is the only one able to survive. God, this is sick now, isn't it? Because now, like, he's already close to the end zone, so he can't. He can't fail now, can he? <laughs> you would think. <laughs> you would think that he can't fail to score now because he's already so close. And there's nobody left. Oh my god. What a massacre. Yeah, it's been a brutal game. I would have liked this to have happened when I played Valley. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, uh, like, completely irrelevant Kaz, but still a Kaz, just to, just to, you know, just to make it worse. You can even eat the boat down, ooh, well, there's a chance, isn't there, if he gets the uphill pal, and then he can get the uh, uphill wrestle on the ball, oh, he's just going to dodge in, yeah, it's easy. <laughs> It's it. I've got him, haven't I? Never forget. Never forget the uh, the Norse. Oh my god, the double skulls. The chalice Norsing. Brutal. At least it was an uphill's double skull, so it's not as bad, is it? Still. It's been rough. It's been a rough game for him. It's been brutal, yeah. Especially the second half. The first half... It was just like one, well, two cars and two kills, wasn't it? And then this, the second half has just been like what, five cars. <laughs> and getting blitzed on and everything as well. 3D. Who the heck is Edwin Farron? I don't know half of these guys. Shuffle to the right, and uh, that's not a lot they can do. Good old Dolph. Edwin Farron, no idea. I'm a Googling. Hopefully, not a porn star. <laughs> that was the worst. Well, that's actually the second worst mistake I made when I when I Googled Sagat. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> because we were going, we were going to a uh, you know fancy dress party, Street Fighter, and I googled Sagat costume or something, or Sagat something, something to do with Sagat, and found uh, and found a different Sagat. <laughs> I was just a default name, right? The Lima are just a default, so okay. Man, well, next time, Veli, I want you to put a bit more effort in, you know. 
get Randy Couture in and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to photo search Sagat live on stream, no. No. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to do that. I made a really big mistake the other day, uh, live on stream, though I wasn't, I weren't, I wasn't streaming it. Uh, like, I wasn't streaming my desktop when I did it, but I did search for elephant cock, and uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I mean, I could have told you that was a mistake. <laughs> but I wanted to see the animals one to see, you know, just to see how big it was. Because <laughs> we were talking about a blue whale one, you know, and like the blue whale one is like really long but really thin. And I thought, I wondered what an elephant's one was like. But funnily enough, when you search elephant cock, you don't actually, you don't actually <laughs> find pictures of an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's... <laughs> Four heads. Oh well, now I'm definitely looking for that. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Frantic, frantic googling. What the hell? That's insane. What the fuck? It almost looks like a foot because it's got four. <laughs> Four heads, you see, that was just a little Jimmy Fantastic joke. <laughs> the one he got seven toes, apparently. That is, that is fucked up. Like, it's kind of horrifying. It's kind of horrifying to look at. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay, that's enough internet for today. <laughs> um, well, there you go, that was, that was a match, wasn't it? Kind of. Eight cas in the end. Absolutely brutal. The first half was exciting, at least. Yeah, yeah, the first half was really cool, yeah. The first half was really cool. Uh, the second half was just an absolute Dyson. Um, so there you go. Congratulations. Talk, talk, talk. Commiserations, fellow hoppier. Thank you very much, Moradam, for the core cast. Glorious, as always. Anytime. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.